Welcome back to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In our first installments, we took a closer look at combat gameplay. Today, we're diving straight into the heart of Mass Effect Andromeda, exploration. In addition to beautiful story missions, Andromeda is filled with worlds to explore. No way to solve it. Our story is contained within the Helios Cluster, a portion of space populated with dozens of star systems. And the Tempest is where that exploration begins. You can navigate star systems using the Tempest galaxy map. From planets to moons, to anomalies and starships, wherever you are in Helios, you'll now be able to see everything that exists outside the ship's main windows in real time. In Andromeda, there are over 100 planets to discover, and a handful of beautifully crafted worlds can be landed on. And that's where the adventure really begins. Each world you visit has its own story, its own characters, and of course, its own challenges. Today, the world we're going to visit is called Elodin. Exploring the opening landing area called Paradise, you'll quickly discover that the heat on this planet can be deadly. Water is scarce, and mysterious ancient artifacts dot the landscape guarded by dangerous remnant creatures. Basically, to live here, you have to be desperate, or Krogan. But even the Krogan aren't happy, and they don't trust anyone from the initiative, least of all a Pathfinder. How you deal with the Krogan and these challenges will ultimately determine your success on Elodin. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. Before you set out, you'll get an update from your AI pointing out key locations. The remnant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. We're going to start the adventure by heading over to the Krogan colony, but the choice of where to go is ultimately yours. Our all-terrain rover, the Nomad, is key to quickly covering the expansive landscapes throughout Andromeda. You can also enhance the Nomad with a series of functional upgrades designed to give you better turbo boost, higher jumps, better handling, and more. While you're exploring, one of the key objectives will be to discover locations to call down forward stations. Once found, each of these will act as a fast travel point and allow you to change your loadout or call the Nomad if it gets lost or destroyed. They also offer resupply and protection from any environmental hazards. Our conversations at the Krogan Colony point us in a few directions. Exiles are causing trouble at their base, the Flophouse, and a derelict remnant ship may have a drive core the Krogan are in desperate need of. Let's head to that ship and see what we can find. Out here, we are more exposed to the heat. In Andromeda, all of the planets have localized and or global hazards. The Pathfinder and the Nomad are both separately outfitted with life support systems that help protect against these hazards. But once you run out, you'll need to find a safe location or a forward station to recharge. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. As you travel throughout the world, you'll find new areas to explore, new characters, and new storylines. Ultimately, all of these discoveries will help raise the viability of the planet. Increasing planet viability does two things. Allow for the creation of an outpost and upgrade the Nexus, the Andromeda Initiative space station. Before a planet can support an outpost, you'll first need to get its viability to at least 40% by pacifying threats, allying yourself to locals, solving environmental problems, and accomplishing specific tasks related to that planet's story. For example, in the case of Elodin, your relationship with the Krogan will determine whether you can build here or not. Regardless of whether you build an outpost, your exploration and discoveries will also give you Andromeda viability points. Reaching thresholds will allow you to upgrade the Nexus and wake up more colonists from cryosleep. Who you decide to wake up will determine what perks and advantages you'll get. Will you wake up scientists to give you an edge in research and development? Military personnel to give you an edge in combat? Or merchants to give you a leg up when trading? But of course, not everything on these worlds will be so straightforward. Andromeda holds many mysteries, not the least of which is a vast network of ancient vaults. Simply figuring out how to access one of these vaults is a challenge in and of itself that can take you across an entire world. Once inside, you'll need to rely on skills from every element of Andromeda gameplay, including exploration, environmental navigation, puzzle solving, and combat to get them back online, and then make it out alive. Go! And resolving the mystery of these vaults may just hold the key to survival in Andromeda. This is unbelievable. At its heart, Mass Effect Andromeda is a game of discovery and exploration. The choices you make and the places you go let you blaze your own unique trail through Andromeda. Whether you're exploring the depths of a crashed starship or delving into the core of an active volcano, the more you engage with the world around you and the characters in it, the more that world will surprise you with what's waiting 
just around the corner. It's really gonna be something, isn't it?